remember that picture I took of Richard with this digital camera? Well, look, all I have to do now is plug it into my computer, and it works with both a PC and a Mac. Choose the image that I want. I think I'll take this one, and I've got a picture in about two minutes. Pretty good shot, huh? And it's really fast, a lot faster than one hour photo. So with digital technology like this, driving to your local photo mat could be a thing of the past. Digital cameras, which record images directly into memory rather than on film, allow cyber shooters to snap and download images directly into their computers. Most people shoot their pictures with conventional cameras and film. But now with digital cameras, you can actually store those images with removable memory cards like this, or on the hard drive, or even on the internal memory of the camera. You just connect the camera to your computer, download the images you want, and voila, you've got pictures. Alex Berliner is a Hollywood photographer whose job depends on making the front page. Using a high-end digital camera and high-speed phone lines, Alex's images span the globe in minutes. We don't put film in them anymore. So put that in there. Close that up. There we go. So when we're shooting for the Hollywood Reporter, the Academy Awards, we will shoot these, uh, modem them to production. They will go directly to press and be printed at, I think, around midnight. The Fujix Nikon Hybrid looks nothing like a standard camera. This is the, the new B2 stealth bomber of digital cameras. At a cost of over $20,000, the Fujix Nikon uses removable PCMCIA style hard drives of up to 131 megabytes and will store up to about 70 images. You see the guys in the other times carrying these things when they go to somewhere like Bosnia. Because what they'll do is they'll shoot some stuff, they will get out a, a cellular system hooked up to their Mac and they'll modem stuff back. Once the image is shot, the hard drive or flash card can be downloaded and stored in a computer. There the image is cropped or color corrected via Photoshop, a graphic software program. Saved in a compressed image format, then transmitted via modem anywhere on the planet. Oh, will you please step in, please? Also on the high end, okay, portrait quality right. prints in about two okay. minutes are available at tourist haunts everywhere. The three chip okay, Sony DKC5000 yeah. has a resolution of over a million pixels. Okay, and if we just have a little smile in this direction. It's hooked directly to a processor, and dry prints on photographic paper pop out. And yep, in under two minutes. Look at that do. Look at that hairdo. The question is, do you want to keep them? Professionals aren't the only ones using digital cameras. Companies like Kodak, Apple, Casio, and Dicam offer them for an average cost of $800. And these low-end versions store about 54 images with a resolution that compares to that of a $20 box camera. Engineers, advertisers, and businesses use these digicams daily. Real estate agents take pictures in the field, download them into their computers, and write into weekly listings. Okay, so what are we going to get? Well, Andrew McDonald and his buddy Tom are big time burrito eaters with a web page devoted entirely to so, the burrito. Your food of choice is what? Burritos. Yeah, can't keep our bellies <laughs> up. This is such a huge plate of, of food. Using the just released Casio QV10, the Burrito Brothers scour the city for the ultimate roll, then download the pictures into their sometimes daily burrito review. Now this is free burrito, so you know we're still hungry. It's just sort of this fun thing that Tom and I do together. We go out and take pictures of the food, take pictures of each other eating the food, the people serving us the food, and we create this little website. And we have it running right now. Cyber gas. Right. Well, yeah, it's the next problem we're facing on the net.